Now, lady, a girl has to go out sometimes, and uh, we're literally on a construction site here. The minister hasn't arrived, and uh, we'll be engaging with him as soon as he is here. But just essentially using 4IR technologies in the delivery of housing in South Africa, a really interesting concept. But, uh, of course, uh, there is the area of legislation. And uh, for that, let's bring in Rijit Somanji. He is with Agreement South Africa. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Uh, not a lot of, uh, uh, Mr. Somanji, people know about Agreement South Africa and what it does. Just give us that context. Correct. Thank you, uh, Desiree. And good morning to the listeners and everyone. And uh, here is Agrima South Africa that has been in the making for the last almost 50 years. Uh, Agrima started from 1969 under the CSIR and since then uh, it was under CSIR for almost 50 years. After that we uh, got an enabling act which is uh, act number 11 of 2015. Only recently? Only recently. And um, from there, we started to operate as a public entity. In terms of the PFMA, we are scheduled 3A and we operate just like any other public entity. But here is the catch, is that the government since 1969 had an objective or vision that they want to achieve in as far as innovative products and system. And since then, we've been in the making to make sure that by the time we operate, we are satisfied that. Days like today where we are launching the uh, three-dimensional construction print, it's a, it confirms in terms of how as a country we are embracing technology. And uh, we as a regulator, we are looking at how all the innovative products and systems that are brought to the country or that are manufactured and constructed in the country, how they fit uh, for the purpose. In that, we conduct a test to determine the fitness for purpose. It's our area. And once that product or system is tested, we issue a certificate, which is a technical document that says this product is certified to do certain things. It has its limitation and where it can be used. And all these tests, we're testing it to make sure that it's, uh, it's not harmful to the public or to the consumer or beneficiary. And the government is safe to introduce that. So we need to promote the use of innovative technology and we need to support and make sure that it's compliance. And your work from the, for argument's sake, the South African Bureau of Standards? Correctly so. Um, it, it, we need to understand that we operate at the, at the innovative technology. How we distinguish ourselves from um, uh, SAB standards is that SAB, uh, SABS works within the national standards. They operate where there is a standards. For us, Agrima South Africa, we operate where there are no standards someone will come with a product or system set I want to check this to be tested to make sure that it's fit for purpose and we go through the rigorous test we use experts to test that to make sure that it fits for what is supposed to be do and for us to do that the innovators must come with a uh, management system, quality management systems. That system tells anyone to see how it works, what outputs and so forth. And we test that, we check with that uh, manual system and then we satisfy, we issue the test. So the question is, how do we distinguish ourselves? We exist, we come before the, any product is put into the market. The minute it's widely used, then it will have its so standards, then it's our name. For us, we are always before SABS. So let's speak about the project that is being launched here today, uh, just in terms of how you've engaged with that process from inception. We were aware in terms of what the university they are doing, and uh, today we are all invited here, but from our end, we are the regulator. We are still going to engage with the university in terms of how they need to uh, get this system, a building system to be certified and issue the certificates. Our certificates are valid for three years. From there, it will subject to validity review so that it can be issued another certificate. You can ask why three years certificate. This is the time that because it's innovative, it hasn't been widely tested. We want to continue mon monitoring to make sure that it's fit for purpose. By then, it, then it can be released to the market. Then it will be under SABS. And we continue to use at the innovative side of things. What specific elements have you tested with this particular printer? 
they have just uh, make a, an application we have been uh, uh, tested this one there are uh, applications that we are currently looking at from other uh, uh, innovators so we are busy working for this one i know we have received the application that we will start looking at how do you determine that it's an innovation it could have been used elsewhere in the world correctly so uh, Agrima South Africa it's not operating in an island uh, we are we belong to the World Federation uh, uh, technological uh, assessment organizations and uh, all over the world there are 20, uh, 22 countries that are affiliated that we share the, the experience we share the technology and the knowledge in terms of how things are happening